Hello there my fellow Holotable heroes and welcome to another conquest guide. I'm back here in sector 5, I've already covered a lot of sector 5 feats as well as the final boss battles before so if you're interested in that there will be a link in the description below to my Swagger for Life tool where you can go and see all the guides I created so far. In this one I'll be going again versus Jedi Master Kenobi. Now originally uh, I used a different team there that required to have Galactic Legends. So in this one I want to show you if you don't have Galactic Legends you can still get all the feeds done quite easily uh, versus Master Kenobi and his band of Galactic Republic Jedi. Now before we go in let's have a look at the discs. Uh, obviously you want to have defensive formation so whenever we attack out of turn we are be recovering protection critical deb debuffs which will reduce their damage then vitality boosting our own health and protection uh, we'll also be using zealous ambition so that our support can do some more damage stack and fervor which will allow us to start stacking our damage whenever we attack out of turn then entrenched again giving us a little bit of extra survivability out of the gate and finally weak point I will be removing this because if I would have weak point equipped I would uh, defeat Master Kenobi too quickly uh, before we get those attacks out of turn feed done. So this is the set let's just go ahead confirm this and now let's look at the feats that we have to complete. We'll be doing uh, two battles here so first I will be completing uh, the Guarded Assault as well as Devastating Strike and Opportunistic Advance. See there you go, you have to attack out of turn at least 30 times. That's why I removed uh, the weak point data discs because if I would have it equipped we would kill the enemy too quickly before we get to attack out of turn 30 times. And then in second ba battle we'll tackle the defense up feet separately. Now the modifier in the case you do need a reminder so whenever Kenobi is damaged all other allies will be gaining some stacking offense and then as well whenever uh, Kenobi will take a turn will dispel all debuffs on all allies and all buffs on all enemies but it doesn't really matter to be honest and yeah a leader will be getting some extra turn meter stuff like that but you know it doesn't really matter here all that much this modifier uh, so the team that I'll be using is just full 501st here so let's just bring these guys up so you got John Skywalker, Rex, R Trooper, Echo and finally Fives uh, so let me show you my John Skywalker here um, he's obviously Relic 7 uh, he's got some speed on him modded for protection so he'll be tanking and obviously being very tanky he will keep getting hit because he will have taunt on him he'll keep counter attacking which will then recover protection on all of our allies as well as slowly start increasing our offense. Rex, uh, just modded for speed here really, so he's at 280. So what we will do, we will use Rex's aerial advantage to do that big hit of over 200k that one of the feats requires. And we got Arc Trooper, uh, modded for offense, some speed as well, but you know, nothing really uh, demanding needed here. Now Echo, he's a support. Uh, that's why when you know he throws his grenade can do a big hit because of the zealous ambition disc so that could help us as well so showing you his special offense because his grenade does special offense instead of uh, physical damage and then finally fives uh, just having really you know lots of protection very tanky um, so that he can survive all right so here we go let's just hop in the battle now and let me show you how this team works okay here we go all right, so as you can see, they're only getting <laughs> debuffs on them. We are counter-attacking, uh, which will keep topping up protection on everybody. So hopefully Skywalker can, you know, be standing quite a long time. Let's go ahead, boost turn meter now on everybody. Oh, forgot, no turn meter boost there uh, because of Master Kenobi's lead. Doesn't really matter. Uh, let's just go ahead, throw the grenade here. Uh, well, we have to go after Mace. Let's go ahead. All right, and then let's put a turret over on Rex because he's the fastest clone. All right, and let's just now keep calling uh, Echo for assist. Okay, there we go. All right, come on. There goes the savior. So as you can see, even without the weak point, we are really burning through these guys very, very quickly. All right, one hit. Okay, two hit. Okay, 
Uh, I think I want to take care of Anakin next. Okay, there we go. All right, come on. I hope I'm getting enough uh, count uh, attacks out of turn here. Uh, because, you know, without uh, any counter, I have no idea. I'll just keep pinging away here uh, at Anakin. And you will just see how quickly General Skywalker gets up. This is because of the defensive formation disc. So whenever we're getting some assists, uh, you know, he's recovering protection even faster. So let's just go ahead. Just keep going after Anakin. Because if you go after anybody else, he'll just keep gaining bonus turn meter. I will see the healing immunity there. Uh, will prevent your uh, General Skywalker uh, from recovering protection. So he'll take a sit in a moment. Uh, just keep pinging away here on Anakin. Almost got him out. Uh, just basic will do. Perfect. Now, when Kenobi's got high ground, these guys can actually uh, ignore uh, taunt. So they're just kind of attacking clones instead of General Skywalker. That's so funny. Uh, Alright, there we go. Let's go after... Um, Yoda next. Okay, we'll take a seat in a moment. Maybe a couple of counterattacks first. Oh, just one. Okay. Okay, they're going after X. So now they uh, triggered sacrifice here on fives, unfortunately. Um, they all got four sides. So let's just go ahead, pop a basic. And John Skywalker is get, got up already. Uh, just now keep pinging away at Kenobi for the time being. And there you go. This is where it comes our 200k hit now. There we go, 700k, no issues whatsoever. Uh, so now let's just hope uh, that we got uh, the feed done uh, where we got 30 attacks out of turn. Let's go and have a look. Yeah, there we go, completed the uh, attacks out of turn and 200 damage. Now, unfortunately, I lost uh, their fives, they triggered their sacrifice. Uh, so we'll do that uh, afterwards, uh, really. Let's now do the defense up as well okay so for the defense update we'll be using clone wars chewy uh with you know f three four tanky characters there now why chewbacca's lead uh, because um every time you're hit your allies has have 50 percent chance to gain defense sub so as they're just getting hit getting smashed they'll be randomly gaining defense up so that's why you need tanky characters that they can take a few hits and hopefully, you know, enough for the feats to be complete. Also bringing Sith Empire Trooper, and that's because he himself uh, will start with the defense up in the beginning. So that's only one defense up. Uh, and then as well, for example, if Malak does fall below 50% health, because he's a Sith, then Sith Empire Trooper again will gain defense up. So, you know, he's a little bit of an extra source there of defense up for your team. But anyway, let's hop into battle and let's see if we can get this knocked out in a single battle or not. Because uh, otherwise, uh, this feat carries over the battle, so if you don't get it done in the first attempt, just go in again, and for sure it will complete it. So there you go, fives got there, uh, defense up as well there, Malak, Kenobi. And you know, re remember, we still have this disc here, uh, where we attack out of turns, we'll be recovering protection, so then uh, we can now uh, call everybody to assist which will recover protection on everybody. No sense of putting retribution up because Kenobi, once he gets a turn, he'll dispel it anyways. Uh, so again, just, you know, calling somebody for assist, recovering protection uh, because of the disc that we have. All right, here comes the high ground. There you go, we can use now AOE and we got defense up <laughs> on Sith Trooper from his uh, uh, unique as well. Uh, so oh, Chewie, uh, do you want a taunt? Uh, no, just a basic. Oh, they're going all out for Sith Trooper now. There goes Chewbacca. There we go. Gaining defense up again. Perfect. Again, without any sort of, you know, counter here uh, for these feats. We have absolutely no idea. Uh, Alright, let's go ahead and cleanse off that uh, buff immunity for Malak. So he himself can as well gain uh, defense up when he's hit. So it's kind of really the only thing that can get in the way here is obviously... Um, their Anakin on his basic, he can apply buff immunity. There we go. That's it. Counter attack fives. There we go. All right, perfect. Um, yeah, let's get a whole drain here. Okay, only Malak left standing. All right, come on, one hit. There we go. Whoa, whoa. Hang in there, buddy. Hang in there. Oh. Alright, just basic there. I'm ability blocked, unfortunately. 
And boom, there we go. Let's have a look. And there you go. Got defense up 20 times in a single battle. As mentioned before, if, um, for example, you don't get this feat done in the first attempt, just go in in second because uh, in the community, from what I've been told from other people, uh, that this defense up uh, carries from battle to battle. So just do it a couple of times and, you know, you should be good to go. So there you go, that's how easy it was here to get this um, feat done. You don't even have to win. So there is just the final feat here, the guarded assault that we have to do, um, which is again, guess five of first. However, we, di we did lose fives there due to sacrifice. Uh, so I'll have to go back in and do the five of first again. However, this time I will put back uh, the weak point disc. All right, so let's equip weak point back because this will boost our damage so quickly that we'll be able to take out these guys before we lose anybody um, I mean you know in some probably cases uh, I, I had very bad RNG there they were able to trigger five sacrifice but probably in some cases uh, you won't have to do a second attempt here with gas just to get that final feed done okay here we go so with the weak point data disk equipped back on you'll just see the amount of damage we'll be doing now here okay here comes an AoE because remember every time we hit somebody uh, we'll be stacking our offense and because John Skywalker keeps counter-attacking this will mean that his offense will go through the roof very very quickly just throw out an AoE here another AoE 620k hit on Maze <laughs> oh man there it goes John Skywalker uh, sorry Anakin Skywalker um, let's actually just start pinging away here at uh, Kiari Mundi his double tap can do some big hits. Get him out. There we go. All right, Yoda's gone. Only down left to Kenobi. Here comes the high ground. Okay, let's go to basics. Okay, all right. Master Kenobi doing his best to stay alive, but nah, he doesn't stand a chance here. Come on, one hit, two hit. Come on, I just need one big hit from John Skywalker. There we go. Perfect. And that's how you can as well use then 501st to win uh, without losing any units. So it's a pretty straightforward here uh, battle. Once you've got some key discs such as defensive formation, uh, it's a very key one, uh, as well as entrenched uh, vitality as well. And then weak point there for the final battle that we can quickly take them out. Critical debuffs is nice. If you don't have critical debuffs, uh, you can always use uh, any of the other discs that apply debuffs, such as the emissions one that will be applying damage over time. So you just need that in combination with weak point really uh, to start boosting your damage. There you go, guys. Thank you for watching. Hope you found this video useful and helpful. Let me know in the comments below or on my Discord server. But until then, have fun, enjoy your life, and may the RNG be with you, my friends.